So Renee, we're here on our, our last day of our nine day Grand Canyon River trip. Um, <laughs> exciting times. We have had a blast, haven't we? We have, it's been a wonderful experience. And we saw, seen many wonderful things and of course the rapids are always fun. Big hikes, big yeah. rapids, yeah. Uh, great food, right? Mm -hmm. A lot Absolutely. of adventure, a lot Absolutely. of uh, family time, bonding together with all these people. So yeah, Helping each other. Absolutely. But, uh, Absolutely. you know, this is not your first rodeo. This is not your first trip, is no, it? No, no. I've. Uh, this is my fifth nine-day trip, and I've done a four-day trip um, down in the Lower Canyon as well. Yeah. So you could basically be one of the guides around here. You know this canyon <laughs> inside out, side upside down well, side, right? Well, sometimes, but uh, it, it's a lot to learn here and so much to see. And, and you think you have it down and then you see something else that's new and wonderful, so. Every trip has its differences and sometimes different heights, different yes. adventures and stuff like that. But I know you've seen a lot about the canyon, but honestly, what is it really that brings you back um, doing these trips? I mean, you've done a lot of them. What is it that really draws you on a trip like this with Candy Ministries? Um, there's, there's, I think, two things that really draw me. Um, the first is, I love the geology part. Um, I've always been interested in science and rocks, and we had little rock collections when we were kids, you know, <laughs> at, at the edge of the pond and stuff. But, um, so that's been amazing. But I think I need a refresher just to remind me that I can trust the scripture from Genesis 1-1 yeah. all the way to the end of the book. and. Um, this is a great place for that. It really is. I mean, no place else on the planet quite captures, I think, the geology and the evidence of the flood quite like the Grand Canyon. And uh, you're exactly right. I mean, you can come here dozens of times. I spend well over 700, almost 800 tour days now through the Grand Canyon on top and below, and there are still new things to see. And I think Absolutely. the biggest part of that is because we serve a God who is new every day, right? Absolutely. Every day, he is new every morning. And on a trip like this, you know, we get to experience not only the Grand Canyon, not only the geology and the rocks, we get a chance to experience this from a biblical creation and flood perspective, right? Absolutely. And yeah. So what does that mean to you in relation to the rocks that we're seeing down here? Um, just like you said, there's no other places you can go that everything is all together and so succinctly laid out that you can look you can read what happens in scripture, and then you can look at what's here, and the geologist that travels with us is, is so good about just matching those two things. And science doesn't have to be our enemy. Um, you know, we can, we can look at what's here and interpret that through the lens of scripture and be scientifically sound. And that's just so exciting. Absolutely, yeah. So when was your, uh, your very first river trip? Um, I traveled this same time in 2008, and I did four years back to back, and then a fifth <laughs> year down below. Then I took a little break, uh, but now that I've retired yes. and I uh, have a little more time, uh, I decided to come again. So that was amazing. So 2008, that must have been with Tom Vale, right? Yes, yeah. So Tom Vale, our founder of Candy Ministries, longtime boatman down here, came to Christ and said, hey, let's start using this place for God's glory. And I know not only have you been a big part of our Canyon Ministries River Trips, you've been a big part of Canyon Ministries because for many years I know that people that were donating to the ministry and helping support Canyon Ministries and our mission, you would offer to send them photographs, amazing pictures that you've taken in the Grand Canyon, right? Yes, I've um, had a little matting studio in my uh, in my attic and uh, we uh, put them together with appropriate colors and with a scripture verse and would send them out to donators. So it was. Yeah. Uh, that was, a, that was a very special time. It was very special for us too. I mean, a, yeah, a huge blessing for Candy Ministries over the years. And so I'm very thankful and grateful that you're on this trip because it's almost like having somebody that already knows the place. It's almost like we're already family from the moment we came down here. And because we've already been in touch with, you know, the photography and seeing your beautiful pictures of this landscape, um, it's been a huge, huge blessing to us and to many supporters of the ministry. And so, of course, those donation dollars have gone to fund things like our Christian Leaders Trip, you know, where we invite Christian leaders to come and experience this Grand Canyon in a life-changing way. And so, I just want to say thank you to you, especially for... You're very for, welcome. It's been my pleasure. Yeah, for what you've done, it's been a huge part, and you are, you're a part of our Canyon Ministries family um, forever, really. <laughs> and like I tell everyone in our chair circle, we are a forever family, you know, absolutely. So, 
thank you for all you've done. And You're very welcome. If you guys would ever like to join us on a Canyon Ministries uh, creation tour and adventure, come on down here, canyonministries.org. We do daily tours up on the rim, hiking tours, vehicle-based tours, uh, walking tours along the rim. And then we also have multi-day backpacking trips in, down, and across the Grand Canyon and places around Utah throughout the Four Corners. And then of course, four, seven, and nine-day whitewater rafting trips, which uh, Renee here can't get enough of, <laughs> apparently. So uh, come out in here and join us. Again, canyonministries.org. Come see this amazing gift of creation and destruction and of God's love and of his mercy, all of that on display, this amazing gift that God has given us here.